Um, so I'm Joanna. I'm Alicia. I guess you might have figured that part out. But we are developer advocates for G Suite, which, yes, is a product with a platform. <laughs> Who knew that? That's what I thought. That's OK, though, because we're going to make you so excited that you're all going to be like, oh, I'm done listening to them. I'm just going to open my computer and do some G Suite magic right now. Right? Who's, so you ready? You ready? OK, so we want to talk about auto magicking quarterly reports, because we all hate doing the things that our managers ask us to do that keep us from writing our code, right? Man, it's tedious. It's not hard. It's just really annoying sometimes. Because let's think about it. The last time that you had to do some sort of summary, monthly or quarterly, you probably went to your inbox or to Drive and was like, where was last quarter's report? And then you opened it up, made a copy, changed this title, changed a couple of slides, took that to your meeting, and then everyone called you out when you kind of forgot to update slide seven. Somebody had to do it. I really appreciate your attention to detail. You're a great teammate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my 20% project, so cool. it's approved. Yeah, that was really nice how you did that. So now I'm never going to copy anything ever again, but I still don't want to do the work because every time I think about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, a chart and a table and numbers, they're so hard. Chart title. Um, that was a hard one. It's just tedious and annoying, and I don't want to do it. OK, so how can we get around this? I think no, there's a I'm way. I'm like asking you. I, I think there's a way. Our, oh, I thought you were right? going to tell me. <laughs> Talky mushrooms. OK, so. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember now. There's two problems we have to solve. One, we need fresh data, because last quarter's data is just going to get us in trouble, right? I mean, sometimes it's, it's getting Joanna in trouble. I'm usually perfect, so it doesn't really get me in you trouble. You and Milton are just always so mean to me in meetings. No, it's fine, it's fine. I love my teammates, they're great. But the thing is, after you've got your fresh data, you really want a way to do the tedious generating of the report part for you. And we're going to show you how we wrote that. And you can just copy it if you want. It's on GitHub. Mm -hmm. So we start, oh my god, this is still running. There's so many charts. Yeah. I mean, these are weekly, too. <gasps> First fresh problem, data. it's fresh data. We need our data to be the freshest, right? And like we all saw all the keynotes in the developer keynote in like 4.75 seconds. Your postcard photo can go around the world. Uh -huh. This is great. So how can we use Google to make sure that your data is so fresh that nobody ever calls you out again? Just because of slide seven. I'm over it, I promise. I'm totally over it. I'm not upset at all. OK, well, there's this thing called the BigQuery Data Connector. You might have heard of this. You probably also, in our keynote, saw the preview of our Connected Sheets initiative. This is actually going to make it a lot easier, because you don't have to spend any time. You don't have to spin up App Engine. Like You can get access to any of your data on almost all data like set platforms that are out there through different connectors. BigQuery was the first data connector we ever built. We announced it last year, which means this year you can use it, <laughs> right? And then we also have, like, there's a Salesforce data connector. The whole connected sheets thing will be so cool when we turn it on for you. So the idea is that if you're using G Suite already for your company, which I know you all are because we're the best product ever, and please don't say otherwise if you don't agree. That will hurt my feelings. But if you have an enterprise or a business G Suite account and you're running your business off of it, now you can actually make it really, really easy for anyone in your company who needs access to data to actually grab it when they need it without needing to have any kind of knowledge about what data even really is. And it's all because of a UI-based connector that we're really proud of, but we didn't build it, so don't be proud of us. <laughs> OK, that was the whole solution for problem one. Yeah. This is a product that exists thanks to the engineering team, and we didn't yeah. do anything for it. So you should all use it because it's really, really cool. So the hard problem is all that tedious work that I really don't want to do. Do you want to do it? Yeah, the copy-paste. Do you want to do copy, it? Copy-paste. You should do it. Okay. Do you ever have those days I'll where you do like, it, go to I'll work, just use this. and you just feel like you're like staring at your computer, not doing anything at all, but everyone's like, oh, man, you're such a hard worker. And you're like, yeah, I am. Definitely didn't copy and paste that from last time. So we're going to solve those days so that when you are zoning out, you can just play all the solitaire yeah. you want. Like and legit no one will zoning out. out. Yeah. No copy paste. Best zoning out. No <laughs> errors to catch later on. OK, so the way that this actually works is I've already mentioned we're going to talk about sheets. And obviously, we're going to use slides for our presentation because G Suite is the best ever and has all the things that you need. And you never have to go anywhere else outside of your browser. But the thing that makes it all come together is what we call app script. This is our magic component. One person knows what this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so yeah. excited. You're like the third I've met all week. Has anyone here ever actually opened the script editor for AppScript? 
Oh my gosh, that's like just doubled my number for the week. I'm trying to be excited. No, like this is really great. Okay, so this has been around for like a decade. And now that you all know that it exists, you're going to be really, really excited about it because it's the easiest mm -hmm. thing ever. And more importantly than that, it's the most magical thing that ever existed. It's basically right. a unicorn rocket sailing into the sun without burning up and it's pink. Yes. Official. Isn't that what your dreams look like? What does your dream look like? Not like that. Are you sure? It will now. Are you dreaming? Because a unicorn rocket that's bright pink sailing into the sun without burning up is basically the coolest thing ever. Just like AppScript, right? OK, so a brief context on AppScript, which is why you're all going to love it. Because the thing I love about AppScript is that it's written inside of your Drive editor. It compiles in Drive. It runs from Drive. You can deploy it from Drive. It has triggers from Drive. So basically, if you're a SWE, you could do it in like 30 minutes and solve a problem that you really hate having to do. But if you're not a suite, it's actually incredibly approachable, and you can get a lot done with very little coding experience. So literally all of you should love this. Do you love it? OK, you will. I'll come back to you. Thanks. OK, so right here we have an example. We have five lines of code. And in five lines of code, we're using three different Google services to basically pull an address out of a map, find the actual map of that location, and email it to a friend. I'm friend at example.com. I'm going to email it to Milton because I'm still a little sore with you. Wait, have you seen Milton lately? I haven't. And he's actually the one that usually gets us the data. Yeah, like he's, he's the one so. we get all of our data from. If y'all see Milton, let me know. We're going to okay. figure it out. So five lines of code, three services, and it actually really is this simple. There's no setup. There's no libraries to thing, there's no plugins to install, like there's, oh my gosh, you never have to go back to Maven again if you don't want to. You could just join my AppScript cluster forever. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Um, so it's really, really simple. Spreadsheet app that gets you to the spreadsheet. You can get the current sheet. You can get a sheet by an ID or a sheet by a name. You can search through your drive. This is just the magic world. And then we expand to other Google services, such as Maps, and these are called our advanced services. And if you'd like to know more, go to developers.google.com. Yeah. OK, so now that you are all in love with App Script and how great and easy it is, and you totally believe me, and you have no questions whatsoever, Alicia's going to give a demo. A demo. And yeah. this is the best demo ever because it was written by our friend and coworker, Anu, and she's the best. She here. Um, so again, don't be proud of us because we didn't do this, except Alicia made it better. So she did a little bit of work. But don't be proud of me. All right. So this is a real example of a presentation we gave at Acme Corporation recently. We definitely went there, and we definitely gave this presentation. We're finding that we're having to make this presentation for all of our customers. But here's what it looks like. We start out logo, talk about the team, who's the sales team, what opportunities do we have. We have a pie chart there, business revenue, what are our top closes, how many widgets have we sold. How many widgets are we about to sell? How many widgets need attention? Yeah, we're so professional and business so, Like We've got this down. This is slide seven. I just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> so we found out that this is kind of following the same template. And actually, if any of you have done mail merge, you might see we kind of merge this into a slides template. So we're using some curly brackets here. Just It's kind of whatever you want to use. You but could use those maybe are a unicorn flare. with a rocket. I think it's important to have flare, and it's, we like curly it's brackets. It's our flare. So we kind of went through this deck, and we took each of our fields and, and added curly brackets. And you can see here we have a really nice template of what that slide deck looks like. So just like mail merge, we're going to be able to take our data and just kind of merge it into the slide deck. You can already imagine it, right? But we talked about getting the data, the fresh data. So I'm going to go into my spreadsheet. I'm going to show you this is the data connector. So this is connected out to uh, our BigQuery opportunities table. And I'm actually pulling in a specific query here. I'll show you the query. It's really simple. This Super, is about where my SQL This is what your right queries now. all look like, right? <laughs> They're all so simple. So I'm select starring everything from this table. I've created a where, cl a where clause for my account and my region, because I do these slide decks for a specific company in a specific region. And I can just actually tie those parameters to a different tab uh, or uh, field reference in my spreadsheet. So. Um, I'll show you where I have that. I'm kind of setting up this like, hey, 
if Alicia didn't show up next week, how could we create this slide deck? Well, I definitely can't be trusted. You just have to click that account name that you want, like our unicorn rocket ship yeah. company it's that we, we like to work with. And I'm from the Midwest. So I can go over here to my table, click refresh, and it will take those parameters in, go out to BigQuery, and pull my data back in. So now that I have my data, I need to somehow get it into my slide deck. That's actually where that app script comes in. So this is the code editor that I can access directly from my spreadsheet. And I have some code here. And this code does a couple things. The first thing it does is it takes that template slide uh, deck, and it makes a copy, and it just uh, renames it for us. And then um, down here, let's see, we create our intro slide. So we take our, um, see our curly brackets. So we're going to replace our account name with the actual account name, region with the actual region. See, it gets a little bit more interesting down here. We're actually going to make a chart. So so we add actually a temporary tab where we're going to make a chart. And then we're going to copy and paste that chart into our slide deck. And then we're going to clean up our work because that's what good programmers do. And then down here, we actually, to get kind of our top, um, top closes, near, near closes, we actually just uh, do a little bit of sorting on those values in the spreadsheet and then replace that text in the slide. So now that I have my code ready to kind of take all of that data and merge it in, uh, I have a little button over here that just kicks off that slide deck. So I'll hit generate. This button is tied to my app script, so anyone in the sheet can create their own report. So while it's running, it's going to start running my script. And at some point, we're going to see this really cool tab come up. It's like a dance party time. Like, Ooh, it. slide deck. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be copied and pasted and then completely destroyed. But don't worry, it's in the slide deck. And then we can see in our drive that it has just created this new slide deck. And I bet slide 7 so it has is accurate this time. All of our, I mean, we'll see. Just make one it's mistake looking, in Google It's looking and pretty accurate. You. Yeah. We'll have to talk to Diane about that, actually. Oh, yeah. So I think that's about it. Now I think. I've just taken something that probably takes me, I don't know, like an hour to eight hours a day. Depending on how like, much you're focusing. <laughs> Depending on how much you're staring you're at staring your computer. At screen. And so I think I'm going to just like, head on down to tchotchkes now. OK, but I don't even have wait, to before you go, could you like, maybe show them how you got to some of this stuff? Oh, well, Let's go yeah. back to the spreadsheet. Like, how do you open the so, BigQuery data connector? Yeah. Like, how would you so, get started? If you want to get started with that, you can just go to the data menu, data connectors, and BigQuery. And then it brings up a new, um, you select your billing project, and it'll create a new tab. where you, So you can have multiple tabs within one spreadsheet that pull from different tables, if you'd like. Different ways, different queries, and that is it. That's the whole yeah. fresh data problem solved. And so I feel just, like that's yeah. like some props for our engineering teams that aren't here. We didn't invite them. Because that's not their job, this is our job, but they, we're very proud of the them. Audience. So like everyone be like really happy for our engineering teams. Like thanks, y'all. All right. Thank you. I'll be sure to tell them that you clapped for them. Um, wait, can you go back to the demo actually? Oh yeah. Um see more. I wanna see how to get to App Script? Yeah, let's go let's well, go back fine. to the App Script. How yeah, how would you open it? So just from the tools menu, uh, you can go to script editor. And that will open up this tab here. And now there's a really cool thing about App Script, which is from any Google document, um, whether it's actually a doc or a sheet or a slide, you can always open from the inside the document. And that App Script will be bound to that document. So if you share that with somebody else, they can actually edit the script if they need to. And they can run it. It makes it really easy. But if you ever wanted to make a script that's separate from any existing um, document, how would you do that? Script.google.com. Script.google.com. It's really easy. I hope you can remember it. But if you can't, once again, it's script.google.com. Should we yeah. say it like four more times? You should just tweet at us, and then we I can tweet, tweet back script.google.com. Yeah, we could tell you if you ask us on Twitter. Um, but also at script.google.com, you can see all of your scripts that you have written. And oh, the you executions? Get information on their executions and whether or not they're still going off every, every night at 2 in the morning to update yeah. your calendar for you, because you're really bad at that. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to talk about. Can we go back to the spreadsheet? Yeah. And to the tab that you wrote, the generator tab. Oh, yeah. This is my OK, fave. so I'm going to guess that not everyone you work with at work is like as clever as you all are. 
right? Like that's a thing, it's very frustrating sometimes. But you don't have to waste any more time explaining to them how your code works. You can just be like, trust me, it works, I tested it, there's definitely unit tests, it's definitely never gonna fail. And instead, you can make an interactive way for them to use an app script so that you don't have to keep sending the same email every month. And it saves your day. It saves and they don't time. even have to go into the editor. So this is something that I could do. It makes it really easy for me to make the report, but it's really great when I go out of town or I want to transition that report to somebody else once she gets slides. We'll give it right. to Melton. I shouldn't yeah. be trusted. Um, but Alicia actually made this because of her experience like having to live her entire life in spreadsheets and knowing how incredibly tedious it can be to even remember what you yourself did, never yes. mind what somebody else did. And this is one of my favorite plugs for App Script, which is make it easy for everyone else that you interact with and it'll still be easy for you. Mm -hmm. All right, so All right. that's a pretty cool demo. Yeah. Now let's go back. Oh, I guess our demo's over. <laughs> Bye, magic people. Um, so a couple of gotchas. Once again, BigQuery Data Connector is for business and enterprise G Suite accounts. If you have a Gmail account, you might not actually want to try this. Maybe just don't do that, because um, otherwise you'll be sad. But I don't want you to be sad. I want you to be happy people with your business and enterprise G Suite accounts. Um, the other thing is that data access is important. In order to use an app script, or in order to use the BigQuery Data Connector, you do need to have access to that original document or to that data set. And if you don't, this can make it kind of tricky to run our specific demo that's definitely available online. And we even have a link to prove that one so you can trust me on this phrase, because sometimes I'm a liar. But um, if you don't have access, uh, it's not the end of the world, because AppScript is super duper magic. Oh, we should have copied our unicorn over to the next slide so I could emphasize how awesome a super yeah. cool unicorn rocket that flies into the sun without burning up and is bright pink is. Do you believe me now? App Script works on any account. It works on any account. It doesn't Gmail. have to be a G Suite. It can be a Gmail account. You can make them for yourself. You can make them for your company. You can do a domain-wide installation. You can sell them as an add-on in the marketplace. Like They are full magic and full awesome and very, very easy to make. We have one on our team that everyone has stolen that are TL made that literally just crops a spreadsheet to the cells that you're using. So you don't have a thousand roll rows by accident. <laughs> Love that thing. But the other thing is App Script can still solve problems. Maybe you don't have access to the data set that you need to include in your analysis for some reason, like it's some other team, but it's relevant to your entire initiative. But if you get a monthly update email from them, you could write an App Script to look for that email, copy the information over, and then include it in your work automatically without ever having to read the email because it could still be filtered. We all love our filters. And if you don't know how your filters work, you should talk to me and about three minutes and 11, 10, nine seconds. Um, nice. So it basically never ends. And then there's a lot more things that actually can help. Like if you haven't started with App Script yet and you're terrified of JavaScript that dates back to like the 1990s or something like that, that's okay too because uh, last year we released the Macro Recorder for Google Sheets. And what the Macro Recorder does is it records every click that you make inside of your sheet so that you can color everything once, make a new tab, and then run it again and not have to go through all of those 78 clicks every single time you have a new tab. And this is a great thing. But what's really cool is you can edit the macros that were made for you. And if you do that, you'll actually get a fully written app script, a very tedious robotically written code, but it can show you how things work. So if you're having some trouble with A1 notation, record what you're trying to do as a macro, look at it, and then steal from the computer. Yeah. This is how engineering works, and everyone's always intimidated. You're like, y'all, all we do is go to Stack Overflow and then steal things that are already written. You can even macro record refreshing the data from the data connector. Oh, yeah. So, we wrote that last night. Yeah. But we forgot to include it. I don't want to do it here because I like the dramatic effect of like refreshing yeah, the, the data. Yeah, the button press. And to feel like you did something, you know? Otherwise, you really didn't do anything. And also, we wanted to make sure it was accurate last night, and then we didn't really want to do anything this morning because we were tired. Okay. It's Honesty came out. I really want to go home already. But I'm having so much fun with y'all, so I'm not going to go home early. Um, so, now to check in. Are you in love with App Script? Is there anything about it that you're like, nah, hard pass? That's what I thought. Yes. That no hard passes, the whole world loves it, you're all convinced. We've converted and this is everyone the greatest in the room. thing that ever existed. I'm excited. And that is how you can auto magic your quarterly reports and never have to do them again while your boss still thinks you're working really, really hard. Maybe don't show him this YouTube video, but show your friends. Because uh, yeah. my personality makes a lot more sense on YouTube than it does in real life. Uh, if you have any questions, tweet us. We actually answer uh, with some fairly quick yeah. response times. We will answer eventually. Mm -hmm. And then 
Um, check out the blog post that Alicia and Anu wrote. Copy their code, steal it, use it for your own purposes. We don't care. Um, and then go to our developers.google.com page because our tech writers are the best tech writers in the whole world, and they're ours, and they're the best, and they work really hard. Yeah. Awesome. Anything else? I think that's how I got started with AppScript. That is so. how you got started, yeah. like a year ago. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go to Tchotchkes. Y'all stay here, have fun. Start and writing. Bye. Thanks for coming.